Masood, I wanted to take a few minutes and kind of go through your IDX and do what I call an IDX tune-up or an IDX audit and just see what we, what we see. This GT metrics report, which is for um, it's for your IDX broker wrapper page. The speed score is great. The Y score is good. But the fully loaded time is 18.6 seconds. So something just, just, that page was just not loading good for me. This is the page, and I don't see anything, uh, you know, really wrong with it. Let's try to reload it again. I just pushed reload. And, and this is, I mean, this is live right here. We can just see, like, look how long it's taking for this page to load. Okay, there, it loaded. So then that's going to carry over to all your all your IDX broker uh, pages. And, and so I think that's an issue. Another thing I would consider is moving the search tool up higher on your page. Because if you want people to use property search, most people come to real estate uh, sites to do searches. I would move that search higher up on the site, maybe put it in, in this area. I did some you know, some comparison reports here on GT metrics. This is what I got on your home page. Um, 5.6 seconds, like you said, there was some delay because of that video. This is that other page where you have the video in the light box and you can see it loaded in 2.1 seconds. I think these are scores are important because they grade kind of the technical things on your site. But the truth is, is from a user standpoint, in my opinion, this these two me metrics are the most important. Total page size and fully loaded time. That's, people just want to know how long it's going to take them to look at something. So when we looked at an IDX details page, it took five seconds to load, which is still a little bit faster than the home page. That's well, pretty slow. But when I s tried to load just the search page, it took 13.1 seconds to load this page. You can see right here the search, which is the wrapper page. It got great scores. In fact, it's got the best score of any page, but it also took the longest to load. And there's something kooky with it because it's a small, it's the smallest page. You can see it's half the size of this, a third of this, and a fifth of that, or fourth or whatever. So um, we're going to test this one again. So let me copy this. Let's go back to GT Metrics. Let's pop that in. Let's analyze it again. Maybe it's faster now. So let's take a look. And then we're going to look through a few other things. You know, again, it's taking 11 seconds to load that page. So, so we need to get that page. Something needs to happen on that page to make it load really fast. And you know what? I would consider moving, losing the image, or changing the image, or something. Something's kooky there that's making it load really slowly. But you're getting these great scores. So, like I say, this is the most important thing. Anyway. Um, Let's go look at a few things um, on these pages. One of the things that I can see already is here at the top, you can see that it's showing, this is 20076. Let's take a look at the, um, the SEO settings here real quick. Um, so the meta description, this is the only description you're getting for your page. I think that needs to be changed and the meta title is that. So that, that also needs to be changed and we can change that for you. Um, Let's see what it looks like on uh, 
when we look at the the property page okay it looks pretty good the letters are good people can read it does it have a map there's the map so people can see where it is and then you've actually added a little bit of information here so that's or somebody did that's a great uh, little bit of information one of the places we sometimes see uh, problems is on the photo gallery page so let's click that and see what the photo gallery looks like okay that looks good it's all loading well let's see if it's responsive it looks like it's responsive as my browser changes you know some of the things show differently so that's that's good um, custom subdomain you have that set up here one of the things you don't have is you don't have it working on HTTPS so that that may be something to consider if you'd like us to do that you need to activate it on your in your website first and I have a blog post that, that shows how to do that uh, on realtycandy.com but Google gives you a little credit for having HTTPS on these pages so let's return here and let's take a look at your results page And it looks like it's everything's showing well on that. Um, you know, you have the sidebar here, and I don't know if people are clicking from IDX pages to these things, and if you want them to, that's fine. But when you come down the page, there's really nothing here. So you may think about stretching out your uh, pages and losing the sidebar up here at the top. That's just something you have to look at and see what what works best for you. But um, another thing we could do, if you want, is on this section right here, um, you know, change the color scheme or something. It looks like you've you've done this the way you want it. So looks looks like you've got. what you need. The other thing I would consider for you is making sure that you go to app.leadercrm.com forward slash register and you can register here for Leader CRM. This is a tool that we provide at no charge for our clients. It gives you text alerts for new IDX leads. It gives you text alerts for returning IDX broker visitors. So if somebody's registered with you and they come back to your site, you can get a text alert that says, hey, Scott's back on your site, and this is what he's looking at. It also gives you MailChimp integration with IDX broker, and it gives you automatic safe searches. So if you have clients that sign up for an account, a lot of times they don't get something automatically saved for them and so this will create those auto save searches so I think your your site looks good I think the two things that we want to look at is that wrapper um, load time the SEO settings the uh, SSL certificate and getting set up for leader CRM so it looks like there's those four things